Hello YouTube, here with Ken Coleman, the Mole Man. Today we're talking about the day that uh, I fought the Carl and I may have won. So basically what's happening is so Carl served his eviction notice. And uh, just yesterday, uh, me and Guffman, we uh, we went to, uh, to the real landlord and uh, and uh, we talked about uh, you know, the, the real landlord really does not like Carl. I found a few things out. A, uh, Carl's only paying $2,000 a month for the joint, and uh, we're paying $1,600, and that motherfucker has the audacity to not let us use the fucking bathrooms and try and say that we can't park our shit, and then try to kick us out and try to tell us that we can only come in from fucking 9 to 5, and he went as far as changing the locks on us, and we'd call Lake County Sheriff to fucking get him to change the locks back. But so, basically now, we went to the real landlord, and the real landlord, he's a 75-year-old dude, and he really doesn't fucking give a fuck about anything. He's, you know, he's, 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 he's pretty alright, you know, maybe a little bit loopy, Alzheimer's and things like that, but overall, though, he's a really nice guy. His name's Dennis, and uh, he's a real old-timer. We talked to him, and uh, we told him the story, and uh, he agreed is that uh, Carl is fucking us right in our ass. And so, uh, it's my mistake that I shouldn't have uh, rented out a property without uh, signing a real lease agreement and all these things. But uh, So basically what's happening now though is that uh, we are going to be, uh, Dennis is going to be uh, talking to his lawyer on uh, Monday, he was supposed to do it today, but the lawyer's office is closed on a Friday. He's going to talk to his lawyer on Monday and uh, we're going to see what happens here. And so Carl might get evicted for breaking his lease by subleasing to me. And then us, the subleasers, may come in and rent the whole property out from Carl, or from Dennis directly, and Carl can take his woody hot rod and fuck right off. Just fuck his woody hot rod, he's a prick. He fucking does crappy ass paint jobs. He's quite literally a con artist. And I've been paying for his shop for this entire time. Busting my ass off and uh, very unappreciative of it, so uh, we are going to try to fuck him right where it hurts. So, drinking beer in the hot sun, we fought the Carl and we won. We fought the Carl and we won. So, we don't, we, we don't know for sure yet. It's still boiling over. I'm supposed to be evicted by the 17th, and I just stuck my lift up last night, so <laughs> right realistically, I don't think I am leaving by the 17th, I'm going to be quite honest with you, we're going to play this one out, but I don't think that cheap bastard's going to have the money to actually file through the courts to evict me, so we'll see uh, what's going to happen right here about these things, is that, you know, it's like uh, Carl could have just shut his fucking mouth and just had his free shop, but instead though he's getting fucked right here. He got greedy and just being a prick. So it really, really isn't that hard to get along with us. Or, or pretty chill, you know, just don't fuck with us. And I won't fuck with you, but he decided to fuck with me. So now he might lose his shop. And we might gain the whole shop for two grand a month. Should be really badass because that place is fucking gigantic. The best deal on a shop ever. So we'll see what happens. This is a Toxic Town and a Kane Mole Man. We are uh, signing off.